This is David Hofmeister's Unwind Your Mind Back to God, read by Tarana Singh. In today's episode, we continue laying the foundation with Book 1. In Chapter 6, these are Sections 14 and 15. Section 14 On Joining Joining is usually seen as an action in this world. As with everything of this world, the true meaning of joining is approached as old definitions are laid aside. What could never never leave need not return. What could never separate need not join. Mind is one and can never be broken into separate, private, isolated fragments, each with private thoughts and a different perspective on the world. Likewise, truth is not a collection of parts that unite to make a whole, for truth is one. The whole is one, and is far beyond the so-called sum of the parts. To join is to forgive, for to see illusions as one tapestry is simply to release the thought of parts. Nothing exists apart from the one, for connection is just another name for union and oneness. Forgiveness is the point of the world and no amount of connecting the dots, networking or trying to bring people together is necessary to solve a problem that does not exist. To join is to accept the changelessness of mind. How simple and easy is the truth. Seek not to change the world. For one can but accept that which is, now, always and forever. What is the same, forgiveness, cannot be different. What is one, heaven, cannot have separate parts. Forgiveness seems to collapse time, while oneness is beyond time entirely. I join you in the purpose of forgiveness. For what else could joining mean? Forgiveness is content and has nothing to do with specific forms. Section 15 On Psychic Abilities Friend, do you feel that since you are so connected to that unified mind that maybe you have opened up to other types of abilities? Whether it is knowing other people's thoughts or seeing auras or having different types of psychic abilities. Have you had that experience or is your experience more just that feeling of knowing your oneness and being connected? David, I will talk about the idea of reading thoughts. What seems to other people's thoughts? When you remove the limits and the parameters of what communication is, from your mind, it seems like you pick up thoughts. It is almost like you have a giant satellite dish, like the ones that picks up very tiny little impressions, even from outer space. This is a phase you go through and it may be experienced as disturbing. I spent some time seemingly picking up thoughts during that phase 
and I went to Jesus and the Holy Spirit, saying, What is the purpose of this? I am picking up other people's thoughts, and some of them are disturbing or unsettling. The Holy Spirit said, This is just a phase of your mind training. It is not really that other people have the thoughts. These are thoughts in your mind that have to be released. This is another opportunity for discernment. Tuning into the spirit and letting go of reactions and judgments and identifications with these thoughts. They seem to be negative, but they really are just unreal. When you completely unplug your mind from them, then they seem to not even be in your awareness because you have not given any faith to them. That is a good example of a phase that I passed through. Things like intuitions, precognitions or premonitions can seem to have some value. But as you go even much deeper, present peace of mind is the greatest gift. I will mention a little about precognitions that seem to involve the future. Future and the past are the same. The ego has just made up a different form so that the future seems to be different from the past. The more you see that the future is already the past, the more you can understand how the psychics can read the future. They are really just reading the past. Once you get into these experiences, the fascination with psychic abilities and seeming powers just starts to fade away because it is still the ego being fascinated. God is the power. Spirit and the present moment is all power and glory. Those abilities can seem to come but you never need to be frightened by them. They are actually very, very natural. It helps to realize that you are going for awakening and that you are not going to be delayed by any ego judgments about what seems to be supernatural powers. They are very natural and when given to the Holy Spirit to use, they are very productive and helpful. The ego will always try to jump on these so-called psychic abilities and make an identity. It could try to make a lot of money out of a psychic ability.